Hello, this is Jordan. I'm going to be showing you how to download and install the 3M Cloud Library app onto a Mac computer. First, I'm going to go over to my web browser. I'm going to open up this ebook.3m.com page and support page. This is a page created by 3M. And as you can see on the left hand side, there's the different links to all the different apps to getting access or downloading them to the correct device. You scroll down, there's actually a area to find your library to, to verify whether or not your library has a 3M Cloud library system. There is a support page here that has a lot of FAQs as well as some really good uh, how-to videos on how to use the system. There's a how it works which is basically just a four-step uh, intro on how the system works and there's a brief little overview of how the uh, system works and some just general overview information. We're going to go to the left here and find the right app. So we're on a Mac computer, so we're going to hit the Mac app button. And you can see there's a basic description of the application, supported operating system, and some supported e readers. Uh, we're going to take a look, or we're going to click on the, the download link here, and that's going to download to our computer just as any other. Uh, application or program would and obviously this will be a little different if you're on a PC using a different operating system but this is the, just generally how it um, how an application would download onto the, the to a, a Mac operating system so as you can see it's getting downloaded to our computer right now and once that's done we'll be able to open it up and once we download the application and open it up it's gonna give us a, an initial login screen so as you see now it's downloaded, we'll open that up and it's going to open onto our computer. And we're going to hide this window here and get out of the way. So now you can see it downloaded to our computer, it has the icon here, we're going to click that to open. It's going to give me just this warning, this is just a generic warning for any new application that you download to your computer. We'll hit OK and the very first time you log in or install on a, that the 3M system to a device, it'll prompt you to log in to your library. Once you've done this, you don't have to log in. Um, again, you can just go in and out of the application quickly and easily, um, unless you log out, of course. So we're gonna go ahead and find our state, find our library, and then the username and password is just your library ID, your barcode, and then password. If, if your library requires a pin or a password, you put it in here. If not, you can just leave it blank. So we're going to log in, and now we're just going to agree to our user license here. And now we are logged in to our 3M Cloud library system. So that's it. We've uh, created that and created that account based off of our existing library account. And now we're um, able to browse through the shelves, um, which are just highlighted material from that library. So my library staff puts together a couple shelves that they want to display for all their page bins so I can browse through any of these and uh, take a look at any of those and start checking them out. I can also browse by categories, search, and then all the books that I check out are going to be in my book. So let's click on one here and we'll check it out just to show you how it works. So once I've checked it out, it'll put it into my books tab here. And then once you've checked out an item, it will prompt you to, to select either an Adobe ID um, that you already have or have 3M create one for you. Uh, most people are just going to have uh, have 3M create for you, so that's kind of the recommended option. If you know what your Adobe ID is, um, you can put it in there and just use that. Otherwise, just hit the automatically generate an ID. And so we've done that, and um, this allows um, that Adobe ID to uh, authenticate. So now that we've checked out a book, as you see, it's going to download to our uh, books, our My Books tab. I can click down on it and start reading. Otherwise, I can uh, search for more books, add them, add, add the books to a whole list. I have some other buttons down here, and then I can log out if I do need to log out of that um, library. So that's how we download and install the 3 Cloud Library System on a Mac app.